Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Shut up. You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and we've got another trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Let me start over. Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and it looks like we've got what appears to be the third and maybe final trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife before it's released next month. Super excited. Let's just get right to it and watch it together. Um, be warned, though, I have seen some talk online that there's some spoilers in here, so if you're avoiding, avoiding all spoilers, then you might not want to watch this trailer with us right now. Um, but in my opinion, if it's in a trailer, it's not really spoilerish, even though if it gives away plot details, it's in the trailer. Um, yeah, so that's it. Let's check it out. I'll w watch it once straight through, and then if we feel necessary, feel it necessary, I will go back and pick apart some things that I find interesting. I think we'll find it necessary. All right, here we go. Enough talking. <laughs> Duke's a hazard. Mom, what kind of scientist was Grandpa? Honestly, I have no idea. I found it in my living room. Wait a minute. This thing is real? Somehow, a town that has no fault lines is shaking on a daily basis. I've seen this. What is that? Maybe it's the apocalypse. Oh my god. This isn't a mine. It's a gateway. the beats for the song. What do we do? I love this car. Go, go, go! What exactly is happening here? We need to finish what our grandfather started. not good. I think that was the farm. Hey, buddy. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Let's pause this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let me get the negatives out of the way first. I don't really care for that version of the song. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. Um, and the ecto flying through the air, like it can't survive that landing, can it? Okay. But let's talk about the cools. I mean, that is cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, I would have liked to have seen, no, I take that back before I even say it. I was going to say, I would have liked to have seen the original guys. No. No, 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 no. Um, all right, let's see here. So this, right there, just at first glance, that looks like Harold Ramis when he was older. So I'm gonna assume, shouldn't assume, but it's, it's gotta be Egon, right? Maybe this is a flashback. Hold on, I just wanted to see, can we go back to, I want to see the door, can't quite tell, I was trying to see if there was a logo, a GB logo on the door, but I guess not. There's something there. Okay, real quick. I love that this is how it ends, and I don't know, I've seen some other pictures online where it's, uh, I think it quoted some of the stuff from Revelation about, behold, there was a great earthquake or, uh, you know, whatever, the 612, the, the Revelation 612. What kind of scientist was Grandpa? 
Love that question. Honestly, I have no idea. The ghostly footprints through the dirt. And this right here, clearly this is somebody putting the trap, Egon putting the trap in the floor. And then Phoebe I found it in my pulling it out. Wait a minute. This thing is real? I love that realization by Paul Rudd. Somehow, a town that has no the fault piano. is shaking on a daily basis. What is that? Maybe that it's the apocalypse. Cool. If you guys look right here, whatever flies in there, that's a pretty big uh, structure. You can see there's like a little bulldozer over here. So that's a pretty big uh, building or structure or whatever you want to call it, cave or mountainside. I can't tell if that's like man-made or if it's in, into a mountainside. Maybe <clears throat> the apocalypse. Oh my God. This isn't a mine. A game. Oh, this is good. A little bit right here. Look at the face. <laughs> the face smiles after he's been splattered in the blender. That's so good. There. Hear the music. What do we do? The trap's gone from that scene. Right here, I love this with all the sparks flying at the front of the car. Like I'm trying to, I was trying to see if that's sparks flying at the car or if it's because the car is coming apart. There's like engine things grinding in the uh, underneath the hood. What exactly is happening here? We need to finish what our grandfather started. Good. That right there. Okay, so that shot of her is to me reminiscent of Sigourney Weaver and her red dress all torn up uh, at the end of Ghostbusters one. But look at right here. That looks like that's that big supernatural storm is happening over the farm. You can see the house and the barn. Um, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I missed this in the second trailer. There's speculation that that is Gozer's flat top right there coming up out of the, the pit. I love the terror dog. This is good right here too. Hey, buddy. Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So... I'm excited. One thing I was going to say after watching that the first time, I didn't have the same excitement as I did when Ryder and I reacted to uh, the second trailer back in July. But I think it had been so long since we'd seen anything uh, that it was like it felt good to see the trailer. And of course, you know, Dan Aykroyd at the end made that really exciting. Um, this has me just as excited, though. I think something that really grabbed me was the trap being placed in the floor and Phoebe pulling it out. Um, I'm excited for this. I can't wait. I really, I, I can't wait. Like I said, I'm not as amped up at the end of seeing this as I was the first one or the second trailer, but this looks good. I, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, Ghostbusters has been my favorite franchise since I was introduced to it at what, six or seven years old, um, between Ghostbusters one and two there closer to Ghostbusters two. So yeah, I can't wait. Um, this is awesome. I'm, I like like I like the Dukes of Hazard jump with the Ecto. I'm not so sure how the landing, how realistic can that landing be? Um, but we're talking about a Ghostbuster. It's a movie. Who cares, right? It'll be fun. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait, and I can't wait to discuss it all with you once we've seen the movie too. So, um, yeah, cool. All right, thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me while we watch this third trailer. And until next time. Be excellent to each other.